<laughs> Hello! Uh, this is going to be a short kind of instructional video on how to make use of our online giving option that we have just kind of gotten started up here as a church. And so uh, I'm going to take you through kind of an example of what this looks like and how that works. And uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, something that we are just offering in addition to what we already do. This is not something we're moving exclusively to, but it's just another option that we are making available. What I like about this is that it makes uh, makes it easier for us to give and give on a regular basis. And uh, especially during times when, uh, you know, the crazy times we're in right now when uh, we haven't been having church for eight weeks now. This gives us another option that makes it uh, possible for us to continue to support the church and what's going on and and not just now but in many other times uh, gives us uh, some new flexibility that we wouldn't otherwise have now this is a very safe and secure way of doing this um, through our uh, our record keeping software that we have they have a partnership deal with a company called stripe.com um, if you have ever done anything on the internet paid for anything bought anything at some point in time you have probably used stripe and you just didn't know it they are one of the big companies that has done this for a long time they're very safe and they're very secure uh, and that, but it also means their systems are set up to be very easy uh, to use for all of us involved and so uh, now might be asking, well, how does it? How how do they make money at this? There are uh, fees that are associated with every transaction, and we're going to talk about the different kind of ways that we can use to uh, to give to the church, whether by credit card, debit card, check, or there's even a text option if you want to do that. I don't necessarily recommend that one right now, but that's a, that is an option there if you uh, have a desire to do that. Um, but uh, uh, the fees are very reasonable, and in fact, for the credit card and debit card option, um, you can even, if you would like to, you can you can pay those fees uh, in addition to your to your regular giving if you would if you so choose. Um, we're going to talk about that more kind of when we look at that and we see that. So, uh, well, let's kind of get started and see what this looks like. And so. The first thing we're going to do is I need we'll go to our our church website marcelineumc.com. When it comes up, it looks like what you're seeing on the screen right now, and this is I'm looking at it on my on my laptop, and so this is what it looks like if I'm looking there. If you are on a, a uh, on a phone, you can do all of this from your phone also. Um, it will look just slightly different. Things will be stacked up more on top of one another, and uh, the thing that you won't see is this menu bar up here for that to see that. What you will need to do is find just a little like um, uh, three line symbol, kind of probably one of the top corners. You poke that in, and uh, that's when all of these options will come up. And so when we get there, what we're going to want to do is um, I want you to, we'll click on uh, where it says give online. So we're going to click on that. And this brings up our, our page. Uh, that uh, makes it available for us to give to the church. Now, here's uh, here's how we can do this. You can do this one of two different ways. Um, you can set this up and give as a guest, where you don't put any of your, uh, you don't set up an account, don't put in any personal information, and that is totally fine if you want to do that. Um, especially if you're just going to give one time for something, uh, you can be done and it's over with, and you don't have to worry. So, if you're going to do that, you come down here to the bottom of the screen and just. Uh, Click on it where it says, click here to give as guest. And that's where it would let you put in all of your the necessary financial information, uh, credit card numbers or bank account number and uh, so that you can make so that you can make your gift. Um, for most of us, uh, I would recommend that you actually go ahead and set up an account. Um, through uh, through Stripe, and uh, when you do that, when you create that account, that'll make it easier for you to uh, to adjust giving or to give for other various things like memorials or building fund or uh, sharing table. Even you could do that through uh, through online um, and make it do a lot of different ways. If you create an account, that just makes life a lot easier for for you over the long run. And so, if you do if you choose to go that way, you're going to want to click on it where it says create account. Um, if you have already created an account, um, just put your, your email address and your password in here and click continue and things will be good. Um, I'm going to show you what this looks like to get that to account creation page. I'm going to go ahead and click that so you can see this. And you're going to put in your email address and, um, and let's, I'm going to put in mine real quick. And you're going to click where it says I'm not a robot. Um, 
Sometimes it'll come up with a check. Sometimes it may ask you to, it may say, hey, here's a, here's a grouping of nine pictures. I want you to pick out all of them that have a car in it or something like that. Um, that just is their way of uh, figuring out that, oh, hey, that's a real person behind there and not just uh, a robot somewhere that is, or another computer um, trying to access this. I'm, I'm going to click continue. All right. Now, what it's going to do is it says that we just sent you a passcode. Um, and, uh, uh, and you go to your email and you check your email. Um, find that passcode. You'll put in your email address here and that passcode, and that will then create your account. You'll be prompted after you do that. Uh, you'll be given the opportunity to change that password to something that's, uh, that either you'll remember or that's more secure um, so that you can, um, so it's just not some like random sort of number that you can keep, uh, so you can keep track of it. Now, I have already done this, and so we're, I'm going to switch over to, um, let me switch over here too, uh, where I have already logged in. So once you get your account set up and you go to log in, um, it's going to look a lot like this when it comes in. Um, now, I also have already put in our, uh, our checking account information, so my screen still will look a little bit different than yours, but I'm going to walk you through what this is, what this is going to look like. Now, you do see these three options up here at the top. There's credit card or debit card, um, ACH slash checking, or SMS slash text giving. Like I said, I wouldn't worry too much about the text one for right now. I'd focus on one of these two other ones if, uh, uh, as your options for what you would like to do. And in fact, I would recommend first that you look at the ACH or checking one. That's just, uh, that's the equivalent of writing an online check, an, an electronic check is what this is what this does. And it comes uh, directly out of your checking account. And the best part about this, as far as the church is concerned, is that uh, that's where the lowest fee is for that. It is just a straight 25 cents per transaction, no percentages, no anything else. And so it's very cheap, very reasonable, and uh, makes things very easy. So um, we're going to kind of walk through what this would look like if you were to give um, through an ACH and then we'll go take a look at the credit card and debit card. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and so you'll see things change a little bit and you're going to see where it says select a category. Now this is what's really cool um, and this is what helps out our accounting stuff on our end at the church a whole lot because I know there's many of us out there that sometimes we'll write one check and it may be for several different things and so we'll make a note of that in the memo line uh, or if we put it in an envelope we'll kind of make a note on the envelope of what everything is supposed to go for. This is what you can do here. Uh, is that you can, general offerings is just like something you just put straight into the offering plate. That's going to be the default option. Um, and you can put that put that in there. And if it's your regular, uh, your regular tithe, that you're giving, tithe that you're giving to the church, just leave it there. Put in the amount right now. I'm just uh, going to put in $1. Uh, I've already set this up for Emily and I, so it's, uh, uh, so this is just kind of an example. Um, and then we could go on from there. Uh, I do want to show you what this looks like if you wanted to put, like, kind of breaks things down a little bit. And so you can come here and click on Add Another Entry. And now you see where things have changed over here. There's another place where you can put an amount, and there's this running total down here. Let's say I wanted to put something in Building Fund. You know, let's say I want to put another dollar in there. Okay, good. Um, I can do that. Uh, and you can do this for as many different things as as you want. Now, um, there's, so we have like Sunday school offerings, memorials, uh, you can put, you can add memorials this way. Uh, there's building fund, birthday or anniversary sharing table, our covenant partner, if you want to donate to the, to Mozambique, it's there. And as different things come up through the year for like lilies and poinsettias or camp funds or all that sort of thing, those things uh, might change. So if, you know, you wanted to make a donation for, uh, for a camp fund or you wanted to get a lily or a poinsettia when we get, like say, when we get to Christmas time or whatever, we'll have those options that will be selected under there so that you could even give all completely online and uh, you wouldn't have to worry about, did I remember to write a check for that? Did I pay for, uh, for my lily or poinsettia or did I pay for that uh, really tasty plate of brownies that I got off the sharing table? It can all go straight in there. Um, and so I'm just, um, so those are all the different options uh, for that. So 
Um, and then the other part of this is, is that if you don't see something in there, but you say, hey, I've got this other thing that I want to be able to do this with, and um, uh, but I don't see an option there, you know, just like on your checks, there's a memo line, and you can write the memo. You can write a memo here, and you can, and you can even detail out uh, whatever it is. So you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, you know, I'd say, let me do, you know, give one dollar to Pastor oops, John's Coffee Fund. Uh, I mean, you could. You could do something like that, and that would show up. And we, and when we go through to, to double check things and make sure everything is going in there, we'll get a note that says, "Hey, there's a memo on here that we need to check," and we'll make sure that everything gets put into the right places. Now, here's the fun part of this: you can tell Church Track, you can tell this um, how often you want to give. If you just want to give once. That's real good. It's just once. It's just right there. If you wanted to give weekly, uh, you know, like you're used, like you're used to uh, giving, writing a check every week, and you can do that. So you just click where it says uh, every week or every other week. Or um, when Emily and I set this up, we did uh, we did every month. That was uh, how we how we how we have been giving, and just trying to remember to write a check once a month. And so we set it up for every month and uh, and so let's do this I'm going to go back here to once now here if I were doing this I would just click submit because I have already put in um, our checking account information and you would be given the option to uh, to enter that information or click a button that says you know that will take you to where you can put in the information so it would be good maybe to have uh, your checkbook handy with you you don't need a voided check or anything like that you just need your checkbook um, there on there, so you can get your account number and the bank routing number, and uh, and that's real, and that is uh, really all that all that you need. And so, uh, let's say I'm going to give this, uh, put this on there once, and uh, and then I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to have to explain this one to Emily later, but I'm going to click submit. So I'm going to click submit, and it says, please confirm that you want to give two dollars from your bank account ending in. Uh, I'm not going to say those numbers, and those numbers are now kind of blurred out for you anyway. Um, and I'm going to click OK. And so says, hey, thank you. Your gift of that was accepted and is pending bank approval. Here's the thing. It will take you probably a couple, couple three days uh, the first time you do this with your checking account. And there's a good reason for that. That is that the first thing that Stripe does is they go to verify that you, in fact, do have a checking account and that it is yours. Um, and so how that works is they do something that's called a micro deposit. This is pretty standard for uh, for doing this kind of thing. Um, and what they do is they will deposit into your checking account, you know, something in the amount under a dollar. And there'll be two of them in there. And, and they'll be for different amounts. Like mine was like 82 and 83 cents. Um, and what that does is then it will give you instructions and it'll say, hey, we're gonna do this thing. Go back in, you know, in a day or two days, check your bank account online, see if you see you know, two little deposits from us for this amount. When you see them, come back over here, you know, log back into your account and it will give you the option to put in those two amounts and when you do that, it says, "Okay, good. We had the right thing. You didn't get, uh, uh, you didn't put a number in wrong or anything like that. That everything lined up just as it was supposed to." And then it will approve your transaction, and it will approve your giving. So for uh, I had to do that for Emily and I. It was very easy to do. You know, it took about a day before they showed up, um, and then it was good. It was fine, and. Uh, uh, and we're good and we have everything all set up. Now, the next thing I want to do is show you what it looks like for a credit card or a debit card transaction. And so this is, uh, if you want to do it this way, a lot of this is going to be very similar. The only difference here is uh, is the uh, the details you're going to put in. So, um, so like I say, hey, we're going to do this. Yep, let's do $2 in there. And as soon as I do this, it says, would you like, there's a new option that pops up down here that says, would you like to add an additional 36 cents to cover your church's fees for processing your card? Um, what does that mean? 
Uh, for credit card and debit card transactions, there is there's a fee associated with it. It's the same fee, same kind of fee that every time you go and get gas and use a credit card, or you go down to Pringers, or you go to Walmart and use a credit card or a debit card. Uh, there's always a fee that's associated. We just don't see it most of the time because most folks uh, are so big that they have they have figured that into their costs of doing business. And, um, and that's just another budget line item for them, and they have adjusted all their prices accordingly. For others of us, we don't really budget for that, and so if you would uh, like to help us out, you can check that box and you can pay the fees uh, for us that are associated with us. If you don't, that's okay too. We'll, uh, we can handle, um, just know that uh, any fee comes out of what you are, what you're giving. And so... And just so know that we would we would be paying that fee whenever whenever you would give. And so that fee, what that fee looks like, it is uh, currently two point nine percent per transaction plus um, uh, plus a a small like twenty five cent or thirty cent uh, processing uh, fee uh, for every transaction. Now that you know it's really not all that much. It's pretty standard across uh, across everything that does that does uh, credit card payments. Uh, once I get a couple, uh, another piece of paperwork turned in, we're going to get that down to 2.2%. So we're really getting, it's a very good rate that we're getting on there. And and so what I want you to see here is like if I click on this box, um, now you can see down here where it says charge, now it says $2.36. It's added that $0.36 cents to cover that. Um, and again, you can still choose whatever categories you want this to go into. Um, you can add as many of them as you want, and then if you know you need some other instructions on there, you can type you can type a message like uh, I'm going to confuse uh, our secretary with this. I'm just going to type hi Beth. Um, how are you? Uh, she'll see that and she'll think I'm being silly, which I am, and and so there there's that, and uh, um, and this is you can manage. Uh, you can do the same thing on the, on the ACH. Uh, if you once you set up monthly giving or on or uh, uh, you know weekly giving or however you want to do that, uh, you can manage that so you can change that as time goes on. Um, I don't currently have a credit card or a debit card set up on my account, so I'm going to go ahead and click next, and so you can see what this looks like for me. And so what they're going to ask you gonna ask is for a card number, and so I'm going to you aren't going to see this because uh, uh, because. Uh, you know, I'm going to block this out once I go back and I edit the video. Um, I'm going to put this in here. Um, okay. Uh, so you have your card number. Oops. Go away. All right. I'm going to hit tab, and that's going to ask for the um, expiration date. There you go. Um, and it's going to ask for the special super secret code on the back of your card and then our zip code. Like I said, you aren't going to see any of this. Um, this is just uh, so that I know what that is. Um, and then I'm just going to say, charge my card. Now we're going to assume I put everything in, right? Hey, looky there, I did. Thank you. Um, so it's on there, and that will go directly into our systems. Like I said, I could have set that up for a monthly or a weekly uh, weekly thing. Um, it really isn't that hard, but if you do have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I have no problems in helping you kind of work through that, what that looks like, and what that, what that might be. Um, but like I said, also, this is just one option. Remember, we have multiple options available to us. You all have been incredibly generous as we've been going through, uh, through our, our coronavirus shutdown phase. Um, have been wonderful. You all have been wonderful about mailing checks in and doing that. And even when we start back up, we aren't going to be passing the offering plates for a while. We're just going to have an offering plate set up or a box set up uh, where that we can put our offerings into. Um, this just makes another option for us to be able to give uh, and continue to give in easy ways as as we go forward. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, uh, thank you for your time today. And I hope to see you in person sometime soon.